Hi guys! So today I'm going to be doing my jewelry collection and storage video. So as you guys can see, I basically store all of my jewelry on my dresser. I kind of use my dresser as both a dresser of course and then also as my vanity basically. This is kind of where I do my makeup and get ready in the morning and then also put on my jewelry. And I am well aware that my dresser is very, very busy right now with things. I have my jewelry box here and then these jewelry stands here and then my makeup stuff over there and then my makeup brush holder over there and then another jewelry box there and then a ring holder there and I know it's just crazy but that's because I'm home from college right now. Well, this is actually a pre-recorded video so by the time that you guys see this video, this video is going to be published when I'm actually back up in Tallahassee and I'm actually doing recruitment with my sorority. But I know that during recruitment it's going to be a very fast paced and probably a little bit of stressful of a time so I know I, I will have absolutely no time to film and edit anything and I will be living in the house during recruitment so that will be pretty fun. Basically the reason why this is so busy is because I have my storage for college here as well because there's really no place to put it. So I recently got these which I haven't filmed the haul yet but by the time this video goes up the haul will already be online. So I got these recently for my apartment because I'm going to be leaving this here and then my makeup over there, the one in front is what I use for college and behind is what I use at home. So I know it's just kind of really, really busy, but this is kind of how I am storing it now. But when I do move into my apartment, I will be doing an apartment tour. So you guys will see just this stuff and I'll be a little bit thinned out. So yeah, that's kind of why it's a little bit crazy, but it works. So with all that said, let's get started. This is what it looks like when you come to my dresser slash vanity. And again, I know it's very busy. That's because I have my home jewelry and makeup storage and my college jewelry and makeup storage all on this one dresser. But now let's just get into it. I'm gonna start over here. So over there is where I keep my makeup stuff and some sunglasses. And then over here is where the jewelry starts. So I'm just gonna pan really quickly. Okay, so the first part of my jewelry collection is this jewelry box that has my favorite quote on it. And I don't have too much in here right now. I just have some pearls and some more earrings and a ring and some more earrings and some hair ties. And over here, I recently purchased this from Michaels. It's an elephant ring holder and I really love it. It's very cute. Um, this ring on top is from Kate Spade. This next ring is from PacSun. This ring here is from a thespian competition that I went to and got a superior, actually. Um, this next ring is from Forever 21. And this last ring, I believe, is from Target. And that all just sits on my little elephant. And I ordered this jewelry holder off of Amazon, and I really love it. It just puts my bracelets on display, and I really love the black felt. It just makes everything just pop, and I love it so much. So up top I have some bangles. These, these bangles are from Target. This watch is from Target. This watch I got a long time ago. It just opens up like this and I have no idea where it's from. These rose gold bangles are from Nordstrom. This watch is by Michael Kors. This watch is from Target. This watch is by Kate Spade. And this watch is by Michael Kors. And now moving down, I just have some wrap bracelets that I've had forever. I have no idea where they're from. And then I believe I got this bracelet. It has Courtney on it. I believe I got it off of Amazon a long time ago. I'm not sure. This next bracelet says has Paris charms on it. It just says P-A-R-I-S and I got this while I was in Paris. This next bracelet my sister got for me and she got it from Target. These bracelets are from Bongo. This is from, I got it at Plato's Closet. I believe it's from Forever 21. I'm not sure. I was selling clothes and I saw it caught my eye and so I bought it. These next pearl bracelets are from Target, I believe. Going down again, these bangles are from, I think that one's from Nordstrom and these are from Target. This bracelet is from Target. This Alpha Gamma Delta bracelet is from, I think, GreekGear.com. I'm not completely sure. My mom surprised me with it. I think it's so cute. This is from Bell's Outlet. This is from Target. This is from Victoria's Secret. This is also from Plato's Closet. I got it when I got that one. And then this is from Juicy Couture. And I'm moving on to my new necklace holder. These are just necklaces that I really like. I also keep necklaces on the sides of my jewelry box. But those aren't as organized because I don't wear them as much. But yeah, let's just get into these. Um, this necklace my friend surprised me with. It has a little crossbow. She got it for me last summer. This is gonna be so hard because there's so many little ones. Okay, this necklace. I'm not completely sure where I got it. 
Um, I don't know where this one is from, but this one is from Charlotte Roos. And this one, I can't remember where it's from, sorry. And then this necklace is from Forever 21. This cross necklace I got for Christmas, I believe it's from Target, I got it a long time ago. And then this necklace is from a random store in the mall. I cannot remember, again, sorry. This necklace is from Forever 21. I love this statement necklace. I love it especially for the spring and summertime. And then right here I have a necklace from Nordstrom. It just has a C on it. And then right here I have my Alpha Gamma Delta Lavalier. And this has to be my all-time favorite statement necklace. I love it so much. It's from J. Crew, and it's their rose beaded necklace in red. And I love it so much. It's so classy and perfect. I just love it so much. But I haven't taken this off because I haven't filmed my haul yet, so I just left it on. I don't know. Now going on to the second half. This pearl necklace is from Target. This collar statement necklace type thing is from H&M. This necklace is from Stella and Dot. This necklace is from Icing. This long necklace. This long necklace I actually got at Plato's Closet with those other jewelry I showed you before. This Alpha Gamma Delta necklace, I'm not quite sure where, where it's from. My mom got it for me as a present, but it's probably from GreekGear.com, but I'm not completely sure. This necklace is from Target. And this necklace is from, I believe, it's either Forever 21 or Charlotte Riz. This one is from Juicy Couture. This one just has a C on it, and it's from Forever 21. And this last necklace was a gift. Now moving on to my actual jewelry box. I love this so much. I got it off of Amazon a while ago. It's by Mealy & Company. And this is what it looks like on top when I open it. So this is more my more statement type jewelry. I don't wear this often just because I usually just wear pearls. And I don't remember where everything is from, but I do know that these are from Forever 21. This is from, this is from Bell's Outlet. And this is from a random store in the mall. These are more earrings that I don't wear that much or I can't find the other half to. But these are actually a present for me, more Alpha Gamma Delta jewelry. These are all just crazy statement earrings. When I was in middle school and the very beginning of high school, I was into wearing really crazy earrings. <laughs> so I kind of put those there. A lot of those are from like Target. And those are actually from Forever 21, I believe. These are from Charlotte Russe. This is from Forever 21. This is from Bell's Outlet. These are just rings that I don't wear that much. The rings that I wear more often are on this elephant like I showed you before. These are from, no clue, I've had these probably since like sixth grade. And then these are were a present from my mom a long time ago. These are jewelry that are either broken or need new chains. For instance, I got this in Ireland and I just don't like the chain on it so I still need to change it. And I got this opal in Australia. It just needs a new chain. Isn't that so pretty? I really love that. And then over here I just have pins. And then coming down, this owl is, um, I'm not sure where it's from, but my mom, when she waited in my room and surprised me, she got that for me. So I just sat it on top of my two Michael Kors watch boxes. I think it looks really cute. But I'm just gonna move that over so we can go into my jewelry box. And I really don't have that much stuff in here because I have it kind of everything that I wear mostly displayed. But on top I just have some Big statement necklaces and stuff that I don't really wear that often. Next, I have some more watches and I have an Alpha Gam pin. And these are more, you know, fun jewelry like for game days and stuff. This next drawer is just more, oh, these are for like watch pieces that clip onto this watch I got a while ago. And then right here is just this huge statement necklace from Charlotte Russe. And then pearls that need to be fixed. And then going into the sides, I just have more necklaces that I don't really wear that often. And there are just so many, so I can't go into every single one. But, oh, here's a, a cross necklace. And I got this owl necklace from Amazon. And I know that, not quite sure where that one's from. And I just have more over there. And, and then I also have more necklaces over here that I cannot even tell you the last time I wore them. They're just very knotted and yeah, that's, yeah, I don't really wear those that often. So yeah, that is basically everything. Let me put this back where it belongs. So yeah, that is basically my jewelry collection.
So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Have a great day or night. Bye!